viewers welcome to engineering study materials today we are going to discuss about the chemical vapor infiltration process this process is similar to the liquid phase infiltration process that we have uploaded in this channel so let's get into this video chemical vapor infiltration method of ceramic matrix composites fabrication is a process in which the reactant gases diffuse into a preform which is uh, made up of long continuous fibers or sometimes uh, flakes or discontinuous fibers. This material is a result of chemical reaction occurring on the fiber surface. The deposition fills the space between the fibers forming the composite material. Then the chemical vapor infiltration process is similar to the chemical vapor deposition process in which the deposition forms when vapor gases react on the outer substrate surface. If the large amount of material is fibrous form is added then it is called chemical vapor infiltration. If it is the matrix material is small it is called as chemical vapor deposition. Then there are the three modifications of the CVI. The temperature gradient CVI. It is a process in which the deposition rate is increased due to the temperature gradient in the preform. Forced flow CVA in which the deposition rate is increased due to the pressure gradient forcing the reactant gases to penetrate into the preform. Pressure pulsed CVA in which it involves the application of alternating pressure of the reactant gases resulting in multilayer structure of the deposition so that a different strength or a properties of composites can be obtained. Then comes to fabrication. Fabrication involves the uh, preform is placed in a container which is surrounded by a heater only on the top surface. On the bottom surface it is made of a uh, supply surrounded with the water cooling so that it is called as a cold bottom then the vapor gases are passed into the container in which the vapors intrudes into the preform and settles in it when it in the hot region hot region is used for only the settling of the vapor gases the remaining gases may be get out in the top region as the exhausting gas. The scheme of chemical vapor infiltration process is shown. The presented process combines both the temperature gradient that is the hot region or a furnace and a pressure gradient such as the bottom surface is supplied with the pressurized gas or a vapor for the reduction of the densification time. Temperature gradient in preform is achieved by heating the top region of it when the bottom region is cooled. Pressure gradient that is the pressure difference is determined by the difference in the pressures of the entering and exhausting gases. This is another diagram showing the same process such as a container containing a preform the vapor are entered from the bottom and in the hot region it settles inside the preform while the remaining gases get out of the top surface. 